Oh boy, this video is gonna be hard to make. Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today we need to talk about the Jason Robertson situation that just continues to get worse and worse every single day and could potentially lead to a trade or an offer sheet. Now with Jason Robertson still being an unsigned RFA, we are now pretty thoroughly through preseason and now just a couple of weeks away from the NHL season starting, yet Robertson is unsigned. And we have heard tons of rumors with trades and offer sheets over the last week that point to this situation getting even more messy. But what have been the latest trade rumors? What have been the latest news surrounding Jason Robertson? Well, watch till the end for all that broken down in today's video. And make sure with that subscribe button if you are new. 45% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you like hockey and trade rumor content, this channel is the place to be. Now, the situation for Jason Robertson and the Stars is really dire right now. And especially considering the Stars cap situation, it doesn't look all too too good whatsoever but you look at Jason Robertson's profile at age 23 39th overall by the Dallas Stars in 2017 and you see it over these past couple of seasons in the NHL in his rookie year 45 points in 51 games then he just absolutely exploded especially in the goal scoring department getting 41 goals 38 assists 79 points in 74 games and looking absolutely incredible when you combine as well a pretty def a good defensive acumen especially when it comes to advanced stats Robertson was probably the most valuable player for the Stars last year in all three zones and to me is a player that is just so key and so critical to the Stars' success. To me, they're a fringe team even with Robertson, but without... I don't think they have a chance of making the playoffs. But you look at the Stars' current cap situation, and they only have $6.3 million to work with. And even if you assume that maybe Robertson gets a lower deal than what he probably could if he was a UFA, maybe around $7 million, you're still 700 k short from making that deal work, even if it was a one-year, $7 million deal. Simply put, the Stars do not have the space right now for Robertson, and especially considering some the deals they made in the offseason they kind of limited themselves to be able to re-sign Robertson as well and you also compound of course the uh, Jay Gottinger contract the four million dollars that he signed and even though it is a great deal they would have had enough to sign Robertson without that Ottinger contract but now with only 6.3 million dollars to work with things are not looking good and to me, there are two options for the Stars team. Somehow they get Jason Robertson on like a one-year deal under $6.3 million, which I think is not going to happen. And two, you trade somebody else to be able to get the cap space to work, which this late into the year is kind of a issue for them, especially considering most teams have their cap situation pretty much locked in. So to me, I think there is actually a lot of reason to think that we could see a trade and especially an offer sheet come Robertson's way. Now, we also got this tweet from After the Whistle Show, which is hosted by Craig Rivette, and also on top of that, Andrew Peters, both of which have, I'm pretty sure, broken stuff in the past, different signings and trades and whatnot. So, when it comes to their actual show Twitter account, it said this. We've heard the Buffalo Sabres have inquired about Jason Robertson from Dallas, which is pretty interesting considering the Sabres have some, the, one of the best cap situations in the league right now to be able to bring in a player of Robertson's quality. But especially on a potential offer sheet, I could see that happening pretty quickly. And as of right now, the Buffalo Sabres are actually leading the league in cap space with $20 million, $2 million more than the Arizona Coyotes. And considering the Sabres situation, trying to improve, trying to become a true contender, adding Jason Robertson onto that offense would make it actually unbelievable for the future, especially considering the 2022 draft on top of that with players like Savoy coming onto the roster, players like Coolidge as well, and Noah Ostland. To me, the Sabres, if they were to acquire Jason Robertson, could become one of the better offensive teams for the future in the entire league. But to me, I think the Sabres make a lot of sense, not just because of the cap space they have at 20 million, but also the assets they could give Dallas's way, especially if Dallas wants maybe more futures in exchange. And even if it was an offer sheet, let's say it goes all the way in the offer sheet, Robertson for like 11 million or something that the Stars have no chance to match. 
obviously they would have the first round picks to be able to give Dallas, but I also feel like they'd be comfortable enough doing that considering they want to take that next step and they want to truly become this contending team. So to me, I think in a, in a Jason Robertson offer sheet or a trade, no matter what it is, I think the Sabres make the most sense. And we also got this tweet from Pierre Lebron putting more pressure on the situation. No real update on the Jason Robertson contract situation other than both sides say ongoing daily discussions continue, which pretty much says that nothing is happening but at the same time, that is news still in and of itself that, again, there's no real update to discuss. They are talking. But again, considering the Stars cap situation, only having $6.3 million to work with, there's only so many talks that can actually happen here unless Jason Robertson the guy, so decides to go for a huge pay cut for one season. That's the only way I could see there actually being any meaningful change here. But besides that, if Robertson wants a long-term deal, he should absolutely get it. But the problem is, Stars just don't have the cap to be able to do it and again i mean that's another reason why we will see at least some interest via trade and offer sheet now going back to the sabers what could a jason robertson trade actually look like and to me i think there are quite a bit of possibilities especially considering how deep the sabers prospect pool is i think the stars will definitely try to take advantage of that and considering what the stars could get back in an offer sheet i feel like the sabers would have to give up at least three first round pick quality players in exchange for the stars and i think it's kind of a mixture of both nhl talent and prospect talent, but if there were to be a trade between Dallas and Buffalo, I think Jason Robertson, of course, would go to the Buffalo Sabres. In exchange, I think there would have to be a forward going back to the Stars that can play now and can provide a lot of value right now. And to me, I go with Victor Olofsson, who has $4.75 million on his contract for the next two seasons, this year and next. And considering his topsy-turvy time with Buffalo, we have heard some rumors about him potentially getting moved, but 49 points in 72 games in the last year. And I mean, considering the Stars' center situation, he could do quite well on that left side and be maybe not a Jason Robertson replacement fully, but Camber being, bring a lot of offense coming back and would soften the blow of a Robertson trade. On top of that, I think the, uh, the Sabres would give up Ryan Johnson as well. I think the Stars would want to get a defensive prospect back. Of course, was 31st overall in 2019, 2019 and as a 21-year-old, still is playing with the University of Minnesota, but this last year got 19 points in 39 games, but one of the better skaters and puck movers of the, of the 2019 draft and is developed being quite solidly and I could see the Stars really going after him and really solidifying that future on the defense and on top of that I think they would also want Isaac Rosen now would they take it of Matthews Voy? absolutely I think they would try to target him too but I think Isaac Rosen is a pretty realistic bet to also get dealt to the Stars if it were to happen not the greatest year after his draft year played some in the SHL wasn't uh, extremely impressive but I do feel like since he's coming over to North America is going to play with Rochester this next year you could put him on the Texas Stars roster and do quite well and potentially on top of this you have the 2023 Sabres first round pick that might be a little bit in flux maybe it's top 10 protected top 5 protected or something but I have a feeling that the Stars would always want a first round pick on top of this but you get three first round picks worth of value on top of Olison. but at the same time for the Sabres, if you are going to trade for somebody, if you are going to make your prospect pool a lot less deep, I feel like Jason Robertson is the player to go after, especially on that left side with so much talent there and all that odd prospect upbringing. Jason Robertson can play now and be dominant now, and I think he's the type of player that could put Buffalo over the top to start being a lot more of a contender, especially over these next three and five seasons. And to me, I feel like he'd be a perfect addition. And considering how good the Sabres prospect pool is, I still think they can afford to get rid of guys like Johnson, Rosen, and even a first round pick and still be pretty comfortable. Now, there are a few other teams that I could see being great fits for Jason Robertson. The problem is just the cap space. There's only a few teams out there that have more than $8 million. You got Detroit, Anaheim, Arizona, and Buffalo. Detroit, I think, would make a lot of sense, but again, especially if we're talking about trade and offer sheets, I think a team getting Jason Robertson would still want to be more on the uh, later end of a rebuild, like a team like Buffalo is trying to get more competitive, trying to take those next steps. Even for Buffalo, even though this next year probably won't be a playoff team for them yet, I could see them saying, okay, 2024 is the year we're going to go for it. Jason Robertson would help us so much to be able to get that next step and take that next step in the Atlantic. But for teams like Arizona, I don't think it's very likely. Anaheim would be an interesting addition. I feel like that they're also kind of in Buffalo tier where they're trying to take that next step, trying to become a playoff team. And Jason Robertson, if they add him onto that offense, might be the player and the missing piece 
piece they need right now. Also, to trade on top of that would be interesting, obviously, but I feel like Detroit's in a position where they want to lock in with their future roster, but obviously, Robertson added onto that forward group would be absolutely nasty. But again, you see there's very few options out there for an actual trader offer sheet, and I think that's why this situation is kind of stalled as much as it has, and I think another reason why the Sabres are easily the best bet to get a deal done, in my opinion. But let us know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about this Jason Robertson situation? Do you think he signs? Do you think he gets traded? Do you think he gets an offer sheet? What team do you think could go after Robertson? Is it the Sabres? And what could a potential Jason Robertson trade look like to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video with all your friends, get the Jason Robertson update out there to anybody you guys know, and click this card for all of my Trinity content right on one playlist. My name is Nathan. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.